the fence by Anna Vaughn writes. Remember how I described the difference between U.S. citizens and American state citizens as being on two sides of a fence? Well, that fence is actually the separation between the international jurisdiction of the land which belongs to our states and the international jurisdiction of the sea which is largely but not entirely operated via delegation of our own powers by the British territorial United States. That's where the interface between the American government and the British territorial United States government lies, the fence between international jurisdiction on the land and international jurisdiction on the sea. According to the treaties leading up to the constitutions, including the territorial constitution, the British monarch is supposed to be acting as our trustee and protector whenever we venture out on the high seas and navigable inland waters, that is, in the international jurisdiction of the sea. Instead, the constitutions have been breached by both the British monarchs and the popes responsible for maintaining and honoring the limitations of the municipal United States Constitution, too. The demand that the predatory acts and false commercial claims against us must cease has to be carried forward by those of us competent to act as state citizens, because the state citizens known as the people are the parties to and designers of the constitutional agreements and the only ones who can enforce them. Thanks to self-interested falsification of our individual records, we have all been misidentified as U.S. citizens of one kind or another, a political status that prevents us from acting as state citizens and keeps us from taking valid action to enforce the constitutions. They not only robbed us, they also bound and gagged us. Lucky for us, the international land jurisdiction still stands, and we can, if we wake up and do the work, reclaim our birthright political status. We can repopulate the actual states of this country. We can enforce the public law, including the constitutions. We can take back all the property interests and rights that have been purloined by fraud. Your state belongs to you when you act as the people and clamber back over to your side of the fence. And you owe no duty to the queen when you do. Instead, the queen owes duty to you. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more Anna Von Wright's article videos.